Hello! Today you will see a speed sculpting of a Javan rhinoceros head. This beautiful animal is critically endangered and there are only 60 individuals left on Earth at the time I'm making that video. It is impossible to predict if we can reverse that tendency but we can at least try to preserve one of the hotspots of biodiversity on Earth, the Indonesian rainforests. Those rainforests have been destroyed by humans massively. To be precise, 50% of the total of Indonesian forests has been lost in just 50 years, largely due to corruption and the palm oil industry. Oh no, here comes the palm oil blabbing again. I know, I know. But it's serious business. It's the cheapest oil on the market right now and it's also very easy and versatile to work with. So it gets a lot of love from industrials. Too much love if you ask me. Since the demand is so big, the palm oil plantations replace quickly the original rainforests killing so many unknown species of the plant and insect kingdom. So, so many beetles and birds and other tiny rodents. And it also critically endangers bigger animals like the orangutan, the javan and sumatran rhinoceros, the sumatran tiger, the sumatran elephant, and as I said, tons of smaller, less advertiser-friendly animals like birds and rodents and so many bugs and plants, obviously. So yeah, it's pretty bad right now. But as an easy solution, I would highly suggest to make your best to avoid products that contain palm oil. And there are a lot of these out there. Soap, lotions, shampoo, but also industrial pastries, breads, biscuits, crackers, and margarine, fake butter. Basically, it's everywhere. However, the more people realize the damage this high demand is doing to our world, the more brands avoid it. Here in France, and I suppose in other countries as well, you can see more and more products pop up, proudly stating, without palm oil. Not Nutella. So if you can avoid Nutella, no, just avoid Nutella. It's not vegan, it's with palm oil, it's just an awful brand. So just avoid it. And I mean, why would you care anyway, right? Imagine your house, where you are living. Buying palm oil products is basically putting your house on fire. And I'm not even exaggerating. The earth is the only place we can live on. I mean, Mars and the Moon are all very nice ideas, but truly we live here and the poorest of us cannot go anywhere else. So when you are participating in destroying the planet, you are actually burning your own home. I mean, it makes no sense. I know it's not a fun subject, but we are at a critical moment in history and we know humans have too big of an impact on the environment for decades now and we are now physically seeing the impact on the earth but governments don't really care or hardly and then some governments deny climate change which is making everything just worse so in no point in being sad about it just get angry act protest raise awareness Change your habits, change your way of living, consume less, consume less meat. If you can't stop meat, even better. If you can go vegan, even better. Avoid palm oil. Be very conscious about all that you buy. Double check everything. I mean, we might still be able to make a change. But we can only be able to make a change if we stay if we stick together and do it together and clearly we cannot really count on our governments right now they've been disappointing already and now probably even more
And for now I'm going to leave you with my sculpting. I didn't go into details on how I sculpt this rhinoceros simply because I'm using reference pictures and so I don't really have any technique, I just sort of go with the flow. And so it doesn't make much sense for me to describe into details why and what I'm doing. And more importantly, this project, when I decided to work on deforestation and on environmental issues we are facing and climate change, etc. The idea is to raise awareness. So you might not like it and I, I do understand why. It's not always fun. It's not a fun topic. And we are living in a society where entertainment and something being fun is is very very much asked for which is understandable but sometimes there are problems that we need to tackle and this is one of them that we just cannot ignore and the saying goes that ignorance is bliss but ignorance is really killing us right now so on that note i leave you to watch the rhinoceros until the end and i hope this has moved you just a tiny bit to eventually rethink some of your habits and maybe inspired you to do something about it and to spread the word. So I thank you for listening to me and I thank you to taking the time to think about those things and to maybe take actions. much for watching and listening. Consider checking out this other endangered species, the orangutan, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!